Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, The Bee Whisperer. I'm just in the process of editing my next video, uh, which is only my second. Uh, this video was taken this spring, April 2020, and it was uh, of a, me checking on a colony which I just transferred a, a few a week or two previously, uh, a nuke, overwintered nuke, into a deep hive body. Conditions weren't absolutely perfect to do this, and it was very early in my filming experience. So I learned, made a few mistakes and I've learned a few things, things like how to set up a tripod properly, uh, getting the sound right, which wasn't too good on this particular video, but also the um, recording angle and that sort of thing. So you'll see in future videos, I'll do a better job of getting better images of the bees and that sort of thing. Um, let me know if you think I'm improving uh, and don't forget to Subscribe to the uh, channel, and if you like it, give us a like and let your friends know about it. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks very much. Okay, so now we've got our equipment ready. I've got my wagon ready with the various bits of gear I anticipate using at the moment, and I'm just going to take it out to the bee yard now. So, you will excuse me for learning. This is what we're, what we're doing here. Is learning how to take pictures at the same time as uh, doing my work. So we're going out to my bee yard and we'll just do a little bit of checking to see what sort of progress we have. It's a bit windy so it's not perfect conditions in the high 50s. Right now, the yard is pretty busy. Lots of bees flying. Most of the feeders, which have only been on for two days, have been emptied. Some of them are still half full. Some bees don't need it, but uh, some certainly do. Okay. Take the fence down a bit. I'm not going to turn it off. I'll just lay it down. Okay. We're going to open up the beehive now. Bees 
on the cover. That's a good sign. Good, good dent. We'll put these in there. We've eaten some of the pollen, a good deal of the pollen that I've put in there. Pollen substitute from the top, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of bees. But from the top, it can be quite deceptive. foundation but they are just starting to draw the comb. There's the frame of honey, <laughs> nectar from the sugar syrup that I put in there. Really full of sugar syrup and the honey that was in there that I gave them to feed them. right down to the bottom. He's nice and calm. Frame of cat brood, very full of bees. So, full of bees, cat brood, and young, even young larvae in there. Cat brood, larvae, resources in here. I don't see much stored pollen. I got loads of honey. Plenty of brood is emerging. So the population is growing very quickly. Young larvae in here, and here's the queen. Nice little blackie. So, busy laying eggs in there where the brood is emerging. Brood emerging on this side, too. Very good. Plenty of opportunity to lay there. Okay. Looks very nice. Here. This will drive the bees down a bit more. So 
pollen substitute I've made up earlier. Mixture of dry pollen substitute and two part uh, concentrated sugar syrup. This will be devoured by the bees. There's a good pollen flow coming in, but they're still eating this, which is very good to see. Close this up. So, the, uh, this pink hive doing very well, six frames of uh, bees at least, and we know there's at least four frames of brood going on to a fifth, so things are going pretty well here. 